Hi, I'm Danny Butler. We're at the Kirby Christmas Trial. It's super slippy, and this is Trial Tube. section now, young Alfie Lamkin, who seems to be riding it like he stole it. And in all fairness, he's not going to get grip if he keeps leaning that far forward, because they are pokey. After making the first bit look pretty easy, dropping in now as we've got a nice big step, which Alfie turning the bike around and firing up there nice and easy, keeping it moving as well. I wouldn't exactly say he's a, a fan of the non-stop, but I tell you what, he's going to make a fantastic extreme enduro rider. <laughs> so here we have Dougie Lampkin on the Dougie Lampkin replica bike, which in all honesty, is it a replica if Doug's riding it? So Doug making light work there of the first part, keeping the bike moving as well. It's like being back in Scotland. And that's all we're saying about that. Doug dropping in, nice and careful there. Turning the bike around, really firing it up. And I tell you what, holding it on the rear tire, holding the bike together as well, really working it. And a lot slower than his son. That's what they say, when you get older, you take your time. So here we go, James Dable. He says he hasn't rode much this year so far because he's got a real job and Let's be honest, he hasn't lost it. After being one of the UK's most talented trials riders ever, chose the family life. Look at that guy there, stood right in the way. Fantastic. So across all three gaps, keeping it on the back wheel, holding the grip as well. Absolutely fantastic work there from Dibs. So Alfie, we've just seen you on the last section, which looks like a tough one. It looks pretty slippy today. What's the best thing you can say about a Christmas trial like this? Christmas trial, the best thing, it's a good laugh riding round. Uh, it's, the sections are nice, but mainly just who you're riding round with is quite fun. Just to have a laugh and have a chat while you're riding round and everything. So, um, who are we thinking is going to be taking the top spot? Obviously, I know it's just for fun, 
so it's it's obviously but when i say just for fun that means it's for pride and if it's for pride then it's really serious yeah well every, every trial serious even if it's just a club trial or a charity trial but no it'll be interesting i don't know who's gonna anyone could really win it really because uh, all the sections are greasy and horrible and slippy so one wrong move and you it's an easy five basically everywhere so yeah I'm not, well, I'm what not really sure. matters is as long as you beat your dad right yeah well i'm gonna try <laughs> So young Alfie Lampkin, we've just seen, we've just had a nice little interview with Alfie as well. So thanks Alfie for spending the time with us. And this guy is not only one of the fastest people through the section I've ever seen in my life, he's also riding the right bike. And yes, I am biased. Honestly, he's literally the spit of his dad. Keeping it moving, look at that from Alfie, perfect. So here we go, James Dable once again. Making light work of the first part. No dabs yet for footing or leaning. But he's definitely on clean because he's got lots of gripping. I'll tell you what, he made light work of that. It was like he used to ride in the world top five. So here we go, Trials is OG. Doug Lampkin, the man himself. 12 times world champion. And also, big fan of a CCM and a set of denim jeans. Skipping his way across the rocks and making it look easy. Look at this. Let's see him get this. Is it gonna be non-stop? Beautiful, look at that ladies and gentlemen. If that's not an advert for a bike with the same plastics as mine, then well, what can I say? Now you know what they say, experience is everything. And sometimes getting the experience can be your next step to your next goal. And don't worry, we don't start off doing the big rock steps. Starting from square one is a necessity when it comes to trials. It's important to start at the beginning on your journey to becoming, well, maybe just a little more controlled on two wheels. So through patience, time, and a little bit of effort, you too can start to have inch perfect control. So once you've got your gear on, it's time to get out on our flat area to make sure that you can steadily start on your journey to get a little bit better on two wheels. Aside from a great choice of bikes for you to try out, they also have some of the newest, best gear available for you to use, including boots. They're in a heated rack, because nobody wants cold toesies. And it doesn't matter if you don't do it first time, then with a bit of instruction and a bit of encouragement, I'm sure you'll make it on the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. Or you can always just have another visit. Hey, Paul, Steve Pete here. We're at the Kirby Christmas trial. I did it for my first time last year and enjoyed it so much, I've come back. A little bit frosty this morning, rocks are slippy. Uh, the arena sections have got ice on them when we got there, we were first guys round, so they were a bit sketchy, but really enjoying it. Riding around with a good crew, and we're gonna hit the bar afterwards, so can't be better. So to run an event this big, it takes a lot of people, including observers, who are the most overlooked people in the sport. You can wave him in if you want, don't worry. Okay. And believe it or not, today, there's two observers per section, which, like I said, they get overlooked and they get a lot of jib, but observers, we need them, so be nice. Anything you'd like to say to the people at home? No, just having a good day here over in Kirby Town. That's <laughs> great. And far travelled as well. If yes, you yes. The accent. Came from Northern Ireland just to observe in this location, it's great. So once again, thank you observers, because you don't know if they've travelled all Watch the way from Northern Ireland. Watch yourself, <laughs> get run over there. 
that's not good. I could have fived you. <laughs> so we've come on with Alicia Robinson, who so far today is actually looking quite clean in comparison to everybody else in the queue. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm having a really good day. I've had a couple of uh, silly fives. Uh, three, sorry. Silly three, which, silly threes, um, not silly fives. Which uh, sort of haven't ruined my day, but I could have done without them. But apart from that, yeah, I've been riding quite well, so. It's quite the setup for a Christmas trial, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it's amazing, you know, the amount of effort that goes into it is just, yeah, unbelievable. So, you know, a massive thank you to Joel and everyone who's put all the effort into it, you know. Yeah, yeah them boys have done a good trial. job. Yeah, um, What would you like for Christmas? But, uh, it's my birthday as well. Is it your birthday as well, on the same day? On the same day, yeah. Oh, the same as my mum. Yeah, so it's my 21st birthday, and then I was like, oh, what do you want? And I'm like... God knows. Yeah. God Just, knows. As long as my family are with me, you know, that's, that's all I can ask for. Health, me. happiness and a good yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you. see you in a little bit. Yes, bye. Okay. Let's party. Christmas trials here in the UK are often done in a lot of water, which is super cold. So, these guys at the Kirby trial have obviously tried their best to get some of the natural sections in with some of the artificial ones. I think they've done a good job, and I might even ride one in a minute, but depends on how much I want to wear a nappy. Ugh. Calm down, love. Thank you very much. It's in my pocket, unfortunately, because I'm not actually riding the trial, but we all know this already. This is fake. Welcome to show business. And I'll see you later. Yeah, I rode the section like 10 times. It's a river. We go over to Liz's place, pole up, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Don't let me down now. <laughs> now it's amazing who you find in the car park at the Christmas trial. Jack Challoner, not only riding for Craig's Montessa today, also having a bloody good time at Christmas. Jack, how's it been? I'm all for a good time, mate, and this has been absolutely fantastic. <laughs> We need, more, we need more of this. We need more of this, don't we? We do need more of this. Yeah, trials. Yeah. I always feel like it's lacking. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this club are put into this is unreal. And what Joel's done and, and Dave and sections of it, class, like mega. And all the smarky and stuff. It's like being abroad, man. It is like being abroad, apart but, from the temperature. Apart from it's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> How many layers? 
Nine. Nine layers. Yeah, I got so, nine on. So if you're going to ride the Kirby Christmas Trail next year, according to Jack Challoner, we're somewhere layers. between five to nine layers. Yeah, thermals. Um, apart from that, somebody a minute ago, Charlie Smith said to me he would have liked it a touch colder. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. No, no, me neither. It's cold enough today. I remember you liking Italy quite a lot. Yeah, very warm. <laughs> somewhere in the middle it'd be all right. <laughs> somewhere in the middle? Yeah. Between red hot and freezing cold. Yeah, exactly. Um, staying for the speed trial? We don't know yet. We've got our Craig's Christmas party tonight. Right. So we might have to get off, but we're going to just get these done and then have a suss out with time. I need to because Aaron reckons he's going to beat me. Right. Yeah. That's Aaron from Craig's Motorcycles. So definitely uh, uh, some scores to settle. A bit of rivalry because... Uh, and uh, has, has he rode well today? Well, yeah, he's had some good rides. Mm. Yeah. But um, I think he's a bit of a dreamer though. Like, You've done like, a bit of riding though, haven't you? Not really. I'm not, I don't do much anymore. Don't do so. much anymore. But, last uh, time you done the helmet and boots? Uh, last time with Scott Trail. Okay. Yeah. Good so, day out. Mega. Mega day out. I just need to get a bit fitter for next year. Do it Scottish, Scottish again and Scott. Okay. Next year. So you, he's only picking the trials that take the most phys well, physical yeah. ability to, to get round. Yeah, but the problem is this year I did nothing to prepare for him. Right. So, so next year. Yeah, we're gonna do, do a, a bit, bit of something something. That's the plan. Uh, plans for Christmas. Um, yeah, just obviously got a little lad now, so it's all it's all about him really. I hope, I've got my little uh, beta for Christmas, so. Oh, okay. Uh, he won't be watching Charles Jr. Better anyway. not watch his video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Santa bought all of it, right? Exactly. Definitely nothing to do with Dad's hard work. No, 100%. Not at all. That's a big man up there, isn't it? Big man. Yeah, yeah. You've heard it here first, folks. The big man brings bikes. Yeah. So if you've got a bike on Christmas morning, by the way, best present ever. You've had a bike at Christmas? Yeah. I've had a bike at Christmas. You can't beat it. Can't beat buying a bike. Need. Jack, enjoy. See you in a bit. Cheers, mate. So people are sticking around tonight because there's actual racing. We're going to have Doug Lampkin versus James Dable. They don't know about it yet because they're still riding the trial, but we don't care because that's what we want to see. Now you're not going to believe this. It's not just pros like Doug Lampkin, James Dable, or ex-pros like James Dable that are turning up today. This is Luke Musher and Luke, is this your first trial? It is, yeah. It's my first trial today. First trial. Have you had a good time? Oh yeah, brilliant day. Brilliant. Just so you know, every trial is not as good as this, but this has been an absolutely incredible day. Uh, Luke. What have you learned today? Well, many things. I mean, uh, I've ridden the bike a few times, so I didn't know what to expect at all. So, you know, I, I knew, uh, obviously I've watched trials, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. And yeah, I'm blown away by it. It's, it's amazing. So I'm going to have a straight rhythm. Don't, I haven't got an idea how I'm going to get on, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Amazing. So Luke's entering the racing. He's getting involved with everything. And today's his first trial. Luke, welcome. And at the same time, have a nice Christmas. Cheers, Thank buddy. You, mate. Cheers. Believe it or not, I've actually got to try and do some commentary and film and occasionally set people off. Three. What do you mean you're not ready? Wait, you're ready. Three, two, one, go. That was cheating. That was blind cheating, that was. I hope you had fun watching some of the Kirby Christmas trial because today we're doing something else a bit more Christmassy. It is the Christmas episode and I've said Christmas 14 times. Now I hope you had fun watching the Kirby Christmas trial footage. Just so you know on the day I actually didn't have enough time to do any presenting whatsoever but obviously you saw there some action from Doug, from Dibs. We even got a quick interview with Jack China and Alfie Lamkin. Um, I did a bit of riding on the day but you can't do everything can you? Now today we're doing something that I used to do at Christmas all the time. We used to come to a venue, like we have done today at Bracken Rocks, which we'd like to thank the guys who own the venue for letting us in again today. And uh, I hope you keep your feet warm as you're watching this. We've got with us the Rich family who, 
basically are doing what I did as a kid. They've come riding during the Christmas holidays. So Jack, just say your name and, and your age for me. So just say, hi, I'm, I'm Jack Rich and I'm 27 years old and I'm getting a job next week. Yeah? Okay. Hi, I'm Jack Rich and I'm 10 years old. What do you like about trials, Jack? I like the big open spaces with places like this and there's always something else to do. Now being joined by young riders like Jack today and his sister Kaylee, who'll be coming up shortly, but she's super shy and doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm going to force her to be on camera. What we found is, it's really slippy today, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. So, in trials, it's important to push yourself. And that's what these guys are doing. It's a family sport, and Christmas is family time. So, today, we're going to see what they get up to, and we're also going to find out what they want for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? I want a red Hebo helmet, because um, I accidentally dropped mine down a cliff. <laughs> no. So he needs a new helmet, not because of any pro riders wear the same helmet, but because when you're young, you've got butter fingers. And let's be honest, the helmet's probably about half the size of him. So it's probably quite heavy. Is that right, Jack? Yep. Did it slip out of your hands because it was heavy? Uh. <laughs> Even the carbon fiber ones, I bet dad's chuffed. Now, like any family dynamic, a lot of the trials passion is driven by Kaylee and Jack's dad, Andy. Now, Andy has obviously taken some time out today to join us at Bracken Rocks. He looks super psyched about it. <laughs> and most importantly, he was, I promised I wouldn't take the mickey. And most importantly, it's very difficult for any family to take this much time, effort, passion, and plow it into their young ones. So Andy, what do you like the most about being the trials dad? I've been a trials dad. Um, just a little, everything's a little achievement. You know, each, each day you can have 10 wins just doing a, another rock or another section. Um, it's all that, those little achievements that I love. So, also I'm guessing you get to spend a lot of time with the family. Yep. And, don't look too happy. And, more imp most importantly, um, Andy actually runs a shop as well, a trial shop, MK Off-Road. And, it's allowed the guys to go all the way through, shall we say from the beginning, from riding the yeah. Ossets. Yeah, all the way. Beginning. Jack's just gone onto a Beta 80, Kaylee's on a Beta 125. And, uh, I mean, I've got to ask, how do you find uh, teaching a, a teenage young lady that's probably likes every second of you telling her what to do? How do you find that? I haven't got much hair left. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, stressful. <laughs> stressful. Uh, getting there. Last but not least, what do you want for Christmas? I remember Quiet. asking Adam Raggett Rag this, by the way, and he was just like, ah, I want to go walk with my dog. And last but not least, we've asked everybody else, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> Peace and quiet, yeah. Peace and quiet. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything else to be honest. Peace on earth, peace on earth. Yeah. And quiet if you're a dad. So last but not least, we have young Kaylee, 14 years old, and uh, also been competing at national level in the ladies' classes. So Kaylee, welcome to Trial Tube. Now, first and foremost, it's not easy being on camera, so be nice. And Kaylee, What's your favourite thing about trials? All the different variety and going to new places. So new places? Yeah, that'll go. We've actually been letting in here again. I can't thank the guys from Bracken Rocks enough. And what do you want for Christmas? A new pair of boots. A new pair of boots. That's right, ladies. Shoes. She wants shoes. And last but not least, let's find out who, who's your favourite rider? Uh, Alicia Robinson. Alicia Robinson. Alicia, if you're watching right now, you've got a fan. You'll see Alicia earlier on in today's episode as well. So uh, you'll see some of the action from the Kirby Christmas trial with Alicia Robinson. And, and she rides a, uh, what bike does she ride again? Beetle 250. Oh, Beetle 250. And you ride a? Beetle 125. Amazing. And uh, is it because you like Alicia's bike? No, it's because my old one broke. It's because your old one broke. Amazing. <laughs> God bless honesty. So, should we do a bit of riding then? Uh, cold vertigo start. If you can reach the kickstart. They don't start these. A big thank you to the Rich family for being on today. And most importantly, bringing their guys along to talk about Christmas. And let's be honest, it's just good to practice at Bracken Rocks. Now we're gonna do something a little bit fun. I can't help myself, it's the Christmas episode. So we're gonna have a Christmas countdown of the best trial tubes of the year. 
Coming in at number five, RTL project video. This was a video that we actually put together that believe it or not, we didn't think was gonna do very well and it was a bike that we kind of found in the back of a container. So, I was as surprised as you are. Just so you know, the next part is coming. It's just taken us that long to get the parts. In at number four, the Vertigo Busto. That's right, it was the nighttime shoot where we basically did me riding around in the dark with a bunch of lights. I thought I was gonna die, introducing my latest bike. Uh, I think this video did well simply because people wanted to know if it was a good bike or not. It was the R model of the Vertigo's range and whether it came with a bunch of new parts and obviously it's got that ignition that helps you supposedly start the bike when it's cold. I didn't have a problem previously, but everybody seems to. And I don't know, I think they were just trying to find out if the bike was worth the money. I like them, they ride well. So does that make it worth the money? I don't know, anyway, number four, the Vertigo Busto. <sighs> Not as young as they used to be. In at number three, a video that really got me in trouble. Vertigo Nitro review. Now this video was when I first had the new Vertigo Nitro and I was bluntly honest, as I always am, about the bike, about the fact that the electrics got covered in mud, although that didn't seem to be a problem to people that had, uh, well, you know, wanted to sell them. No. But. It is a problem when you've got to maintain the bike. And I was just honest, I got into a lot of trouble for it. And you know what, it really helped the view. So I'm probably gonna try my best in future to get into more trouble. I really liked the video. It was also the first video of 2022, the green Vertigo Nitro. I kept that bike for ages, I really liked it. Fiery though. And in at number two was the Gas Gas video. Another video which I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, it was a big deal traveling out to Spain and it was one of our first videos where we weren't actually in the same country. Believe it or not, we had a great time. Uh, the bike was awesome, the hospitality was amazing and the reception of the video was great. This video actually had four times more views than Gas Gas's official video and also any videos that anybody else put out. So I really appreciated the support and at the same time it showed that TrialTube was starting to make waves. So number two, the Gas Gas video. Well, the 2023 Gas Gas anyway. No. Believe it or not, a video which I didn't think was going to do very well, I'm going to be honest. And obviously people just wanted to know if a new bike was going to be as good as, shall we say, the comparative brand. Yeah, people wanted to know if it was as good as an electric motion. And with the views and our review, this video did really well. And I had a great time and I got a nice little suntan as well. So. Big thanks to Mecha Techno, also been our number one video of the year. Shall we say a sleeping giant? I didn't see that coming. The vision for the future is to have a range of um, trials bikes that go very well and that allow people to do things that with other bikes they couldn't do. Awesome. Fair play, you electric wonder. Air dryer with wheels. As always, thank you for watching Trial Tube. We hope you've enjoyed this Christmas episode. I'm not going to lie, it's probably going to semi kill me to get this edited in time, but I'm going to try my best, as I always do. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd want to get better, visit any of the trial schools that support us, especially my favorite one. And check out Trial Tube Plus. We've got two more episodes up for Christmas. We're going to teach you how to, believe it or not, hop the front wheel and hop the back wheel. Which honestly, is just as easy as that. But in the meantime, 
A big thank you to everybody that supported us, bought an advert or just goes out and rides trials and then occasionally talks about me behind my back. No. Honestly, Merry Christmas and have a very Happy New Year. Until next time. And trust me, next time, we're going to be reviewing loads of bikes. I've got all of them. We've got the 315. That's going to be in one of the next episodes. We've got my TYZ. We've got a TR34 beta. We've got the new beta. I can keep going. I've got a DL12 coming up. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. People give me bikes now. It's amazing. Oh, my God. And by give me, I mean I have to give them back. So until next year. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like